Emily Van Egmont, back into camp. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels good. Um, obviously, it's always nice to come into camp, um, see all the girls and, and hit the training deck. Can you tell us what it means to have the final games of 2023, which has been an incredibly massive year? Yeah, it's been a huge year. It's It's been a successful year for us. It's been enjoyable. So to finish off the year strong would be um, the most ideal way. And yeah, just again, just excited to be back into camp. Another group of players arrived last night, got onto the training pitch, a little bit more than four players. What was that like today? Yeah, it was good. Obviously, uh, first session for us, a um, bit of a start-up session, so we'll look to build in towards the week and, yeah, just excited for the game. Can you tell us about the last time we met Canada? Um, it was a pretty crucial match. You actually did the pre-match press conference with a lot of pressure behind the team, but one of the performances of the tournament. What are your thoughts and memories of that? Yeah, it was it was a it was a good game by us, uh, strong performance, and you know hopefully we can take some of those positives um, into this two game series against Canada. Um, they're a quality opposition, and I've got no doubt they're going to come out firing. What do you expect to see from Canada in terms of the game? Yeah, look, it's it's obviously a couple of the girls' retirement matches, um, which obviously, you know, their careers speak for themselves, but ultimately we're here for us. Um, we've got a job to do um, looking towards the new year, especially in that February window with the qualifications against Uzbekistan. Last camp was about the consistency of the team. A lot of the team had been there at the World Cup. This time around, there are quite a few changes with injuries. Uh, what can we expect to see from the Combat Matildas? Yeah, it's a good opportunity for new faces to come in um, and, you know, experience the, the culture here we have within the national team. And uh, again, just a really good opportunity. Um, it shows the depth we have with this squad. Um, and I know the girls are just looking forward to the games now. What are the Combat Matildas looking to work on in this camp? Yeah, uh, you know, obviously we've got the, the qualification is the short term for us. Um, Paris is the goal. Um, but, you know, just to, to build on, on the performance of the World Cup, I think we, we showcased that in Perth uh, recently for the three game series with the Olympic qualifications. And, you know, just, just working on a few things that can, can elevate the game um, uh, for the Matildas. And I think we're in a good place right now. And hopefully we can just keep building towards that, uh, that goal of ours. Some of the new faces, it's, it's been so, something that's happened over the last two and a half years as depth has been built within the squad. What are your thoughts in terms of those players coming in? Yeah, it's it's been amazing to see obviously new people come in, um, you know, in and out of out of camp and to experience it. Um, ultimately, it, it adds to our depth, and that's just more competition, which is which is exactly what you want as a country um, and a national team. So if we can continue to have people knocking on the door, um, coming in and, and and pushing other people, uh, that's that, that's all you can really ask for. Let's talk about you on a personal note. It's been a big 2023. Uh, just recently won the NWSL Shield. How would you sum up your 2023? Yeah, it's it's been a bit of a roller coaster. I started off the um, beginning of the year with a bit of an injury and have obviously overcome that now. And I feel in a good place. Um, Winning the Shield uh, with San Diego was, was amazing. Um, the World Cup back home was incredible. I don't think um, much can top that either to, to play in front of your friends and family on, on home soil at a prestigious tournament. Um, and then now obviously a couple of games with Newcastle, which has been really enjoyable. And um, yeah, last camp of the year for the Matildas and hopefully we can finish on a high. It's been interesting you seeing you back at Newcastle. It's where you started your career under the likes of Joey Peters and Cheryl Salisbury and now you come back as the veteran and nurturing the next generation. How do you find that role? How do you find um, that new place for you? Yeah, it's different because um, usually I've been the young, um, you know, cheeky one in the locker room. But no, it's good. I mean, I've still got a couple of girls that I've, I've played with for many years there, which was always nice to come back and, and share the field with them. Um, and again, uh, whatever the girls can take from my experiences, I'll, I'll try to do the best I can, lead by example always. And yeah, just to make sure we get as many points on the board as we can um, whilst I'm there. You seem to be relishing it. What do you find now as you sort of get into, you know, almost the 140s in terms of caps? What are you enjoying about this this period of your career? Yeah, just to enjoy it. Um, I think that's the main thing. I, I love the game. I love the sport. I feel, like I said, in a good place. Um, my, my club environment's been amazing under the likes of Casey Stoney. Um, I've really, really enjoyed that. And then to, to come back at the back end of the year and, and play under my father, um, whom I have 
one of the best relationships with is is great for me and builds confidence in its own way and again just just happy to be here it's always an honor to represent the the green and gold and I look to the best I can always you always talk about the fact that you're happy to be put in whatever position that helps the team. Throughout your career, you've played as the number 10, you've played as a number six, and more recently you also played up front. Um, how do you work to make sure your game is evolving and you're keeping that, uh, I guess, that relevance? Yeah, just to, to obviously take the information in and, and be open-minded and, and just to learn. And I think obviously people look at you as a veteran, but for me, um, you know, veterans can also learn and they can always elevate their game. I think with the resources we have now, it, it creates longevity within the game. So we're fortunate for that. And like I said, I'm, I'm in a good place um, personally and, and performance-wise and um, just looking to enjoy it and do the best I can. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.